Gary, congratulations. A win against James Wade is never easy, but it was a strange game to watch. What was it like to play in? It's, it's hard. Once I got the run of the game, I was fine, but it's, it's me throwing one minute, they, they go great, next minute, all over the place. And it's driving me bloody mad, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Like I say, one minute when I throw that nice and hard, it's fine. And all of a sudden, they're getting lobbed again, so don't know. Probably just lucky, lucky playing the game. The 180s certainly there. Once you managed to find your range, it, it looked really good. But as you say, it was it was very in and out. Yeah, yeah, terrible. In big one going for the 141. You know, yes, it does happen, but that was a mile off. You know, I was halfway doing M25 to be honest. But uh, ah, we got there. You know, it's I end up fighting with myself, which starts making it harder for me. You know, I start wondering what what's going on, what am I doing wrong? You know, about fine 30 seconds ago. So what's happening now? You know, it's it's hard, but. I just put it as lucky player, simple as that. Well, the fact is, you threw to the quarterfinals of the Betfred World Match Play, and you've not been particularly happy with how you've played so far. So there's still opportunities for no. it to click into yes. gear. Yes, sneak through with playing what three times in four or five months. So I've done all right. I've I've uh, I've rode my luck a bit, but uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can't do it with these boys now again. Now and again, you'll get away with it. Ninety-nine percent of the time, you won't. So yeah. Need to sort something out. If there's anything that fires you up for and makes you focus, though, it's a game against Michael Van Gerwen. Now you don't know you play an MVG because Simon Whitlock could beat him at the moment, but he's the heavy favourite to face. Oh him yeah, yeah. I mean, well, yeah, he is, yeah. But nowadays, you know what the darts is like. We've seen what seeds have wet out already, you know, and it just it just shows you, you know, uh, Gabriel and uh, Rachaiski. Rachaiski, mm. fantastic. You know, that's they, they two boys. You know. Uh, He's a big fan of Rajalski as well, you know. It's, he's, he's a cracking player, you know. Big fan of Nathan Aspel, but uh, but you, you see what happens, you know. The, the boys, young Dimitri, was fantastic tonight, you know. He's turned up and played the game, so that's the way the game's going nowadays. Got nine different nationalities in the second round of this particular tournament. That's the most I've ever had. It's it's kind of testament to the growth of darts all over the world and not just more players from different countries playing more very good players, players. oh yeah yeah i mean you could ask me this 20 years ago like that like they said scotland you've only got a few dart players no we never there was if you played counties or super leagues up in scotland trust me you were in a hell of a game but they wanted to be, they all boys worked you know and they weren't going to give up their work to go travel and play darts you know and it's just as well because honestly everywhere you go it's the same you'll find that just with every pub you'll come across a boy that's absolutely superb but he's not going to risk his job to go and play darts you know and it's it's all over but like you say they're coming all over now everywhere they're coming from